Well, hello everybody. Uh, the coop's been doing well. Have 165 miles on it now. And really, you know, just a few kinks here and there, but everything is working well. Every once in a while I have a little bit of uh, radiator fluid come out of my overflow. So I wanted to uh, put an overflow tank on there to catch it. All the overflow tanks, you know, that you can buy and stuff, they're just, they're too big, they're too t shiny, too new, wouldn't quite go with the um, traditional look that I'm going with. Um, my fan is pretty close to the sides, I still want to run a we're on the hood sides. All of them were like three inches wide and stuff, so wouldn't let my fan clear them. So what I did is I decided to make one, and I took a piece of exhaust tube that I have left over, stuck it in my vise, and kind of ovaled it a little bit to get just a slight more clearance. And my plan is is to is to put it right there. My fan will have about a finger width clearance, and my hood will still close. And uh, I can use the bottom mount. Uh, for, that's the radiator and uh, uh, shroud mount and then I'll just uh, have to put another mount up here and put a bolt through uh, the radiator shroud. So that's the plan. Alright, so I have my tube here that I'm going to use as a tank. Like I showed you before, I'm, I've ovaled it a little bit. Cut a couple of caps out of uh, some extra angle iron that I had. And my plan is, is to go ahead and weld them in. But first I'm going to have to drill a couple of holes here and uh, put these little pipe fittings on there, barbs. The plan is, is to have the radiator overflow hose come in to the top um, and I've already soldered up one tube. I'll show you how I did that. And then inside there's going to be another tube. That'll allow the fluid to go down to the bottom. And then there'll be another tube at the bottom. So once the tank is full, it can overflow. And when the radiator sucks the fluid back in, this will allow air to get back in. So the water in the tank and flow back to the radiator. So I wanted to make sure my idea of soldering this is the NICOP brake line to a brass fitting was going to work. It's a nice strong solder joint so I think it's going to work just fine. What I did is just uh, cleaned up the NICOP pretty good with sandpaper. Got to have a clean surface for the solder to stick. And also, since the NICOP line is a little bit bigger than this hole at the end of the brass fitting, I have to drill this brass fitting out to a quarter inch so it's a nice tight fit. Alright, well I got my NICOP brake line in there all the way down. I'm just going to heat up the brass fitting. This is MAP cast I'm using and I'm concentrating the heat mostly on the brass fitting since it's thicker. Let that cool down and that'll and then I'll uh, give it a tug and make sure it's okay. space on the bottom and there'll be space on the top. A little Teflon tape to seal it up nice. Tighten that up the wrench and do it to that side. Okay, got her all rattle canned up and 
ready to install. I think it came out pretty good. All right, well there it is installed. Fan clears it and uh, should stop my problem of a little bit of radiator fluid flowing out after I stop the engine. Thanks for watching.